good morning welcome back to my channel if you don't know me hi hello my name is maya and i am your host of motivation and muscles with maya ting spitting everywhere excuse me uh i have co-host quality h2o on deck and then we have mr teddy <laughs> We are going to my favorite place here in Atlanta, the Beltline, where I walk, jog, skate, I'm taking them. And it's also dog and puppy friendly. So that's where we're going. Okay. Yeah, everything downtown Atlanta for the most part is dog and puppy friendly yeah so and it's 58 degrees it's supposed to warm up just a little bit um, that was one of my concerns I didn't want him out to too cold in the cold so yeah, it's just gonna get just a smidge bit warm warmer but I am prepared he has his leash he has his poopy bag so when he poops I can pick it up and then he has a water bottle or a water bowl um, so I have I'm gonna go ahead and pick up a water for him so he'll have water and I already have food. Oh, I have water, a water bottle in his bag back there, in his travel bag. So we're off. Yeah, so, yeah. <laughs> I just had to get out the house. It was just me and my little big brother in the house and he's not doing anything. So I'm like, you know what? We're gonna go spend some time with Dooley Pop. Doopster. And now we are out. Do we need Gase? No, we're good. So we are gonna go out. So I can kind of tucker him out a little bit. And not to mention, I really uh, miss going to the Beltline. I used to go all the time, as you guys know. And I want a little one to get used to it as well. I have been taking him everywhere for the most part. Yesterday, he tried it in TJ Maxx. He tried it, he jumped out of the shopping cart, scared the mess out of me. <laughs> and I took his behind home. And then I went and got something to eat, um, but I, would, I only left him home for about an hour. And when I left my subdivision, thought I was going to lose my mind because I hate leaving him. I hate leaving him. But I know sometimes he just, he has to be left. I can't bring him any and everywhere. But I just love him so much. So, yeah, we've been working on his tear ducts. I received, I purchased a, um, like these pads and it has some kind of liquid on it. I don't know. But it's specific for dogs who have the um, the leaking tear brown stuff in his eyes. And I don't know if you've noticed. But it is clearing that up. It's just keeping his coat white. And I have to do that once a day. So that's going to be a part of our nighttime routine. Along with wiping his paws down. And all of that good stuff. Nighttime routine. And I'm keeping his fur around his bunghole short. So when he poops, he doesn't have dried um, poop on his butt. One thing that I'm learning about this particular breed, or any breed for that matter that has hair, not fur, but hair, you, um, you have to keep them groomed. So... 
that's what we're doing. I say I don't really like for my butt to be messed with. I don't blame you. But yeah. And so we're on our way for some Maya and Teddy adventure time. It's 9.32 in the morning. He's already eaten. Um, but, um, and I had four ounces of air fried potatoes. Um, yeah. I wouldn't suspect that we'll be out too, too long. I'm thinking we should be back by 11.30 ish because I might get some more okay we'll see we will see but I just wanted to check in with you guys what are you guys doing this awesome Saturday I know a lot of you guys all of you guys are not in Atlanta but what is the weather like where you are this is finicky here one day it can be um, cold then it just gets warm it's it's weird here but anywho I just wanted to check in and anytime we get in the car this little one likes to go to sleep so he's he's tired and yesterday evening um, my husband and I were watching 90 day fiance you know getting caught up and all and ooh, this one here was naughty biting at the cuff of my hoodie I had a hoodie on and just uh biting at my clothes tugging at my clothes he really just wants some attention because we were watching tv and not paying any attention to him and so I guess he did enough running around and trying to get me to get his attention I think he got he was exhausted so he laid down and when I say he was out for the count he was out and I said nah bro wake up wake up he looked at me and well I picked him up and he was limp because he was exhausted and I said uh-uh buddy we're waking up <laughs> oh no I used to do my kids the same way especially that the, uh, the baby girl uh-uh you think he about to go to sleep two o'clock in the afternoon uh, a 30 minute nap that's it that's all we wake up wake up but um but yeah There's a couple of stores downtown that's pet friendly, so I'm gonna um, look at some little extra stocking stuff or and just stuff, extra stuff for Christmas. For some people that's coming by. Okay, but where are you going? So, I love you too. to check in with you. I didn't really want anything. Let me know in the comments what you guys doing today. Once I get back from this walk, I want to just see how far he can go without me having to carry him. And then I'm going to be back. I would normally go to Whole Foods and Seven Anza, but I can't bring him and that's fine and I only go inside places where he can't be if the wait is no longer than 10-15 minutes if that like I had to go inside five and below um, to pick up his doggy bowl and there was literally no line I was in there and out within six minutes so I also want him to get used to being, you know, without me for periods of, of time. His crate should be here tomorrow. And I know tomorrow is going to be interesting because we have church tomorrow. But my little big brother is home, so at least he won't be by himself. <laughs> But the weird thing about separation anxiety in humans too, it's not about just being alone. 
or feeling left. It's feeling left from the one that you love. And he does love my little big brother, but it's nothing like mama. <laughs> I wonder if it's so much separation anxiety from him to me or me to him. Because we had, we've had him for a week and a day. check in and the whole point of me saying all that is when we get back I would love to jump right into our exercises to get that done and I need to prepare for December's exercise I don't know what that is quite yet so I'll be thinking and meditating on that but I love you so, so much. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you a little bit later. All right.